Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Delaney, and today's video is going to be covering 2021 spring fashion trends. So if you're new here, I do fashion videos every Friday. I do seasonal trend videos for every season, and I also post lots of other content. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so, so you can catch all of my upcoming content. And for today's video, I'm super excited to share these trends with you guys. A little preface on how I do these videos, I research from all kinds of different outlets like Vogue, Marie Claire, Who, What, Where, and then I also pull inspo from social media like Pinterest and Instagram and then just everyday life, what I'm seeing and loving as well. So it's kind of a mix of all those things. I will link the articles that I use for my own research in the description box if you guys would like to check those out. And this is just my personal take on these trends. This is what I'm personally drawn to, but obviously there's so many different trends out there. There's so many different ways to interpret them. So by all means, do your own research, do your own thing, put your own spin on it. Generally speaking, color is a huge thing that I have personally adopted going into this next season. I think with things kind of getting better, things opening up, even just the weather getting warmer, things like that, it has definitely inspired me to express myself with more happy, playful, bright color. So that is something that I've done for sure. And it's kind of an overarching theme in a bunch of these different trends. So if you are like me and you're feeling hopeful and happy, and more expressive in that way. Fashion is a great way to kind of express that. I will also link all of the clothes that I'm wearing that I can link in the description box below. And be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like it and also drop a comment. I love chatting with you guys down there. So yeah, let's get into the trend. Alright, so things come and go and they always resurface year after year. Some things are just classics. So some of these are not going to be shocking at all. Others are going to be way out of a lot of people's comfort zones. But we're going to start with a classic and that is florals. I know, groundbreaking. But anyways, what I'm going to do when something's kind of classic like this is just explain my personal take on it for this exact year and kind of what I'm seeing trending in the different resources that I used for that exact classic trend. So for florals this year it's actually a lot about big bold more vibrant floral prints so not the super ditzy dainty little floral prints which I still think are super cute and probably always going to be in fashion as well but I'm really loving the take on the more bold and large prints of the flowers I think that it again is just a great way to symbolize new hope and new life and rebirth and things like that. So for today's outfit that I wanted to share for this, I actually got these Levi's that have painted flowers on them and it's a really nice big bold print. So I thought it was perfect for this trend. And for the rest of that outfit, I just kept it kind of simple and toned down because I did feel like the pants were a lot. They make quite a statement, but you know, it's all about whatever you're feeling. So if you wanna be more bold with it, if you wanna mix more patterns with that, you totally can and it can be very cool. Another trend that I will point out in this outfit is the platform sandals, the platform boots, sandals, rain boots, combat boots, anything like that. Sneakers even is a huge thing this spring. So I loved that little touch in this outfit. All right, so the next trend we're gonna talk about is bold, colorful, loud prints. So that's kind of similar to the floral. It's kind of piggybacking off of it. So this year we are going bigger and bolder and crazier than we were in years past, I would say, with patterns and prints. So again, I think this has a lot to do with things getting better, things opening back up, and people just wanting to express themselves in a more happy and lighthearted way. So a lot of these patterns are nostalgic of previous eras where the general mood of society may have reflected similar to what we're about to go through. So like the 60s and 70s and kind of like groovy prints like that. And for today's outfit that I wanted to share for the bold and kind of bright prints, I have this pair of patchwork pants. So they're kind of like a quilt material and they're super bright and vibrant, definitely giving me like a nostalgic kind of vintage vibe to them. And they're just really out there. They're very expressive and 
and bold and all those good things that we're trying to encompass with this trend. So love these. They're very comfortable. I would say just going towards kind of like fun and funky prints is a great way to execute this trend. Since the pants were again a lot, I kind of kept it more simple. On the top, I pulled some colors that were coming through the pants, which I thought was a really nice touch and threw on a little eyelash cardigan, kind of a nice classic spring piece, a little shoulder bag because I absolutely love those. And then again, I went in with kind of like a platform loafer. Loafers are really big, kind of the whole schoolgirl trend is still around, I would say. So threw those on and I loved the way that it all came together. Okay, the next trend that we're going to talk about is ultra business casual or ultra no so the next trend that we're going to talk about is business casual but like ultra casual so i read about this on who what where and it was a lot about like untucked things baggy things maybe even oversized or cropped things so things that are just not traditional in the workspace but they have this spin on them that makes them businessy looking but not business appropriate i would say and the way that i interpreted this trend was very much so street style if you actually wanted to interpret it for a workspace i think you could could make it so it was appropriate for there. So just do whatever is best suited for you. But what I decided to do for this trend was I got a pair of these baggy pinstripe trousers. So trousers are really in this season. I think it's kind of a transition from the sweatpant after we spent so much time indoors, kind of transitioning over to a trouser, which is still really comfortable and really fun to style. So I went with the pinstripe because I felt that was very businessy. And then I actually paired it with a cropped blazer. So again, this is businessy, but like super casual and not something I would actually wear to an office. I love cropped things just because of my proportions, but again, if you're more into something for this look that's baggy and oversized, that works perfectly well too. And then I got this Penn State t-shirt. You guys always love my vintage Penn State t-shirt, so this one is actually available for purchase. It comes cropped, but it was kind of like a weird length on me, maybe because I'm shorter, so I actually cropped it myself a little bit more, and then I paired this whole look with some sneakers, kind of just to up that really casual feel. All right, the next trend is sheer and mesh. So I love this material. I think it's really nice and edgy. It's also obviously super breathable and I have a lot of fun styling it. So I read about this over on Marie Claire and I picked up this top, which is so freaking fun. I'm loving all the color in this, all the pattern, and it comes in a really cool kind of like neon, but it's also a little bit moody too, which I think is so nice. And I love the little hints of kind of like lilac and pink and purple in there to make it a little more feminine and springy. So I love this because I think it's very edgy and it's not the classic super feminine spring style, which I am having a lot of fun with this year and I'm leaning into more than maybe years past, but I really do like this. I think that it personally fits my style really well. So I actually just paired this with some vintage denim that my mom gave me. Shout out to my mom. And then a pair of nude heels. These are from Steve Madden. They have the braided detail on them. They're super cute. I love that and it's kind of something a little bit dressed up but edgy and it's just a really nice mix the sheer and the mesh is really big it's really fun and i think it's a great way to style things for something a little bit more dressed up going out and a little bit more edgy so the next trend is something i've seen all over social media especially pinterest and instagram so that is the inside out exposed seam and i've seen this done in so many different ways i think that it is such a fun trend i really really love it and i think that it can suit everyone's personal style there is definitely more extreme versions of it, which I personally love. I think it's really fun, but I can totally see how it would be weird to other people. And then I've found some really toned down versions of it, some really nice kind of like more classic silhouettes with really nice neutral colors for people who like to play it a little more safe, I would say. So for today's outfit, what I wanted to share with you guys is this inside out exposed seam top that I got actually from Amazon and kind of had to, I had to lace it myself, but but other than that, it was perfectly ready, so not that big of a deal. But it's just really fun. It's definitely more on the extreme side of this trend, but not the most extreme that I've seen. So it is really trendy. It's got like the detached sleeves, which kind of gave me like a superhero vibe, which I'm not mad about at all. And then it's got the lace up detail. It's kind of got a corset vibe to it as well. I personally love those. So I am not mad about that either. But again, if you're looking for something a little more on the conservative or safe side, they have just kind of like long sleeve tops, body suits, dresses, anything like that. Another great way to wear this trend is in denim. So I'm sure you guys have seen pants like this. These are reminiscent of, I think like, I want to say 
say it's a guest pair of pants or something from the 2000s, I believe. But basically just the same thing here on the denim and inside out exposed seam. And I actually got this pair off of Amazon, no, off of Walmart of all places. And then I have a pair from Princess Polly that is like that as well. So denim can be a great way to experiment with that trend too. So another classic that I of course want to talk about when discussing spring is pastels. And I will just go over kind of my version of this year's take on pastels, I would say. But again, a classic, can't really go wrong with it. And it's just something that is timeless and it's always going to be quintessential to spring, I feel. So for this pastel outfit, I am so excited. This is like one of my new favorite items, which is very surprising. I don't have super girly style and I don't love wearing dresses, but I have spoke on my channel before about loving baby doll dresses. I don't know exactly what it is about them. It's just so youthful and playful. I think they're very flattering actually. And I thought that Clayton, my boyfriend would hate this dress because it just doesn't seem like a thing that boys would like. But I tried it on and he was like, that is actually really cute. I love that. So it's a win-win it's a all around here. So this is my take on pastels this year. This is a little baby doll dress from the brand Selkie, I believe. And they absolutely crush it. This is the best design of a baby doll I think I've ever put on. And I can't wait to wear this to Europe or something when I'm able to travel and just enjoy kind of like a little fairy tale moment in it. So anyways, for the pastels, I love that this was kind of like a retro vintage feel to it with this pattern. And I think that it's really fun in something just girly and super springy like this. And I paired it with some rain boots because I think that is a great kind of spring vibe to it. The pastels and the rain boots. And something else that I will say about pastels for this spring is I think monochrome is still having a huge moment and it's very in. So if you just want to pair, you know, all different shades of purple together or pinks or blues or greens or anything in just nice pastel hues, that is a really easy style hack and a really fun way to express your spring style in a colorful way, but that's a little bit toned down since pastels are a little more, are a little less pigmented. All right, the next trend that I want to talk about is actually not clothing but it's nail art so i don't know about you guys and how you feel obviously nail art itself has been a thing forever and it's not like a new invention i mean none of these things are new inventions really everything kind of just resurfaces and whatnot but i personally feel like through social media and everything that nail art in the past year or so has become so much more popularized and so much more heightened. I don't know if it's because we're all home and a lot of people are able to paint, them nail, paint their nails themselves and do an amazing job or what exactly is going on. I feel in general, nail art is huge right now. You don't have to have long nails to do it. I see it on short nails as well. I see it on toes. And I think that's just really fun. And again, a great way to be more expressive and playful and joyful with your fashion. And the way that I have my nails done right now is super, expressive and happy. I call these my happy nails. I got a different nail on almost every single nail except for two happy face little fingers. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's really fun. So I am totally embracing that and loving it. And I think it's a great thing to fold into your own style. And if you want to do something a little more toned down of it, even just like a rainbow, like a different color nail on each nail is a really fun way to do it. So definitely play around with it if you have it. This next trend is one of those things that I know is not going to be for everyone and that's totally fine. Take it or leave it. Whatever works for you, whatever doesn't, it's all good. I personally do love this trend. A lot of times with these style videos, I try to find things that push my comfort zone for fashion anyways. This is something that I'm naturally very drawn to, but I do love to see if I can kind of challenge myself to dress in different ways sometimes. So if you like to do the same, maybe this is a good trend for you. But anyways, it is the cutout style pants, kind of like G-string thong accent going on with a lot of pants. I've seen this all over social media, again, Instagram and TikTok. So the outfit that I have today for that is this pair of pants that has the nice like thick band and it's mostly focused on the back of these ones. So some of them do go more on the sides or the front or all around. This one is mostly on the back and it just kind of gives the illusion of a thong, but like I'm pretty sure no one thinks it's actually your thong. But anyways, it's just kind of an edgy, sexy, fun, gives me like 
2000s pop star vibes almost. So I love that. And I paired this outfit with a little slinky brown tank top. It's also kind of like a 2000s vibe to it. I think brown is another trend that is not losing its momentum. Even though we're going into spring and summer, I think brown is still a very popular color right now and it's going to carry throughout those seasons. So I personally still love it and I'm having fun with it even though it's not a classic spring style. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is like slouchy tote bags, things like that. So I actually read about this on Vogue and it kind of did my own interpretation of it. So I believe the segment I was reading, they asked different, they asked different employees at Vogue for their favorite spring trend. And there was like a really cute little like pouch purse that I can't remember who was excited to wear from Vogue, but it kind of sparked my thinking as to the like slouchy tote bags that I've ever, I've seen everywhere and like pouchy type bag. My personal take on this trend is more for the slouchy tote bag. And I'm sure you guys have seen these leopard print bags like everywhere, all over social media. Again, Again, Pinterest and Instagram primarily so this is just like the cool girl bag at the moment it's super easy to wear and I have always said that leopard print is a neutral I think it goes with literally almost everything so that is how I see this bag styled on social media as well girls wear this with everything so I love it and it's really nice and big and comfy and easy to throw things in and out of. So for today's outfit, I paired it with some patchwork denim. I actually found these on sale and they're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. And then a little brown tank top again, because like I said, I don't think brown is going anywhere. So that's really fun. And the slouchy leopard print bags, I swear you can wear with anything. All right, the next trend is something I love. I feel like I featured this in last year's video too. I can't remember. So what we're gonna be talking about for this trend is the triangle silk scarf. So these can be worn in so many different ways. You can wear them in multiple different ways for a top actually. You can wear them as a headscarf in multiple different ways as well, like a hair accessory. You can put them on your bag. You can even wear them as like a little bathing suit cover up as a sarong if it's big enough. So these are super in and they're very versatile and very fun to style. So I got this super colorful silky one from Nasty Gal and today I'm gonna be styling it as a top, like a little tube top. It's really nice because you can kind of just tailor it to fit you this one is a tad bit small maybe and it barely fit me at the top but it worked and then I just paired that with this pair of denim from pretty little thing favorite pair of black denim at the moment they're nice and baggy and distressed which I feel like balanced out this tiny little top and then just a pair of little slinky heels nothing too high and a black bag Good to go, super fun, springy, and I feel like this is a perfect outfit for Miami. I always I always feel like I have something to wear to Miami, so hopefully one day I go there. All right, another thing that I know will not be for everyone, and again, you can kind of take it in levels and do whatever suits you in your personal style, or just leave it all behind if it's not for you. I will not judge you either way. But basically, outfit clashing, pattern clashing, anything that's clashing is trending I would say and it's actually really fun so I follow a couple girls on Instagram who are so good at this they're so good at mixing patterns and colors and things that are maybe not super traditionally paired together or like I said can be deemed as clashing but they do it so well and they make it work and I think that it's really fun and expressive so the outfit that I have to show you guys today is nothing too crazy but this little argyle print vest is perfect for spring it's got the bright colors it's got kind of a nostalgic print to it and then i paired it actually with this zebra print bag so i think that these work really well together in a really fun way and then i just paired it with a little white skirt and some colorful sneakers so it's a lot going on but it somehow all works together and you can go less crazy than this or you can go more crazy with this with the pattern clashing and it works as long as you're rocking it and you feel confident in it it works so have fun with it and don't let anyone put you down if you like this style of dressing because there's nothing wrong with it obviously and then the last trend that i'm going to share with you guys is house slippers so i read about this i think on who what where and i was really drawn to this trend because i feel like i see hailey bieber wearing this all the time in her instagram stories i think she has a pair of balenciaga slippers like kind of house style slippers that she wears all the time with really baggy things so on who what where i believe i read that it was like baggy things flowy silhouettes anything like that is perfect for the house slipper trend and i am 
all for that because obviously I think we all appreciate some comfort, especially when it is deemed fashionable. And coming out of major lockdowns and spending so much time at home, slippers are obviously very appealing to all of us. I'm not a huge heels girl, nor was I ever. So this is just a trend after my own heart. And for today's outfit, I decided to go with a little neon kind of baby doll-esque like flowy little sundress. It has pockets, which is a major bonus. And I'm tying in a couple of other trends here. I have the headscarf, a silky headscarf, and another like slouchy little tote bag, the leopard print. And for the slippers, I made a big purchase and I recently got these Gucci slippers. They're super chunky. They're like a slide format. And I just think that they're super fun. And they're very heavy. They're like heavy duty. So be warned if you're into these but I think this trend can go sort of like this slide version or it can be more of like the loafer whatever's just like an easy slip on and kind of slipper feeling to it is perfect for this trend so that is it for all of the trends for this upcoming spring season I'm super excited to incorporate all of these into my wardrobe and have fun expressing myself and trying new things with this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you have fun with your own spring styling and I will see you next time.